All right, it's After Hours on Epic Dog Pros TV. We're at Vince's favorite restaurant. You want to tell them where we're going? Fosso One. Fosso One. Here we are. The best pho in Orange County. attention when it's distracted because here's the reality right I'm gonna be the dog if I'm the dog and I come over here and I'm like ooh I want to sniff what's in this corner this looks like it smells nice how are you gonna get me to come all the way to you if I don't want you to walk on the grass and grab me by the neck you might have to go yoohoo Dylan come on let's go right but if I can't hear you because I'm tuning you out auditorily because I'm so distracted you have to physically touch me that's why this e-collar is so amazing because you are able to tap the dog on the shoulder boop, 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 without causing any pain from a distance of up to three quarters of a mile so this dog could be all the way back at your house you could go but 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 and the dog's gonna react to it we just have to train the dog enough that it understands exactly what this means so, regarding when to put the e-collar on and how long to leave it on, uh, when to take it off, that type of thing, plain and simple, only put the e-collar on when you're going to intentionally do some dog training. If you're gonna go for a walk with the dog, put the e-collar on. When you get home, take it off, right? If you're not going to train the dog, you're not gonna use the e-collar to communicate, then you need to take the e-collar off, let the dog relax, and then put it back on when you want to train the dog. You can leave it on for about four hours. I know, that was a very big truck. So press the button a few times. There. You have to press it until the dog does something, right? Otherwise, you're just pressing it and watching your dog stress out, right? I want to get the dog to calm down, so press it. You could go button, 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 button. Watch, just do it. Button, 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 button. Look what happened. So it's not that it's shocking the dog, it's that your dog is so distracted that it's, what if I'm over here and you're going, Dylan, 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 what? Right? Yeah. And that's what's gonna happen is your dog's focused and eventually your dog's gonna go, what? I need the dog to say, what? Now I've got your attention. Now you can say, Dylan, come here, relax. Okay, right? But if the dog's just, <laughs> the button stops that motion and calms it down. Thank you, you are so cute, look at you. Good job, thank you. You know the deal. Button, button, button. Good, good. Right, so now it is smart to try to do something. So take the leash and just direct it off. Say off. Oh. Good. The dogs, you're a good dog. Now the dog's able to focus on something. You were able to eat your dinner, put a TV show on, and now you guys are coexisting versus having a dog who's your cozy. Right? You guys need to be best friends and roommates. If I was jumping on you every time you had food, it would be weird. You can't have that dynamic. The dog needs to go, hey, I'm doing my thing, you're doing your thing, we're best friends, right? And that's the relationship that we want. And then we can go, come, place. And the dog should be there. And then you can eat your food. 
And again, you guys are coexisting. Down. I just gave a command from all the way over here, which is great. All right, you want to be able to control the dog from a distance off leash. No, Benji. Your little pink belly. Oh my goodness. I know. You gonna give me some love? Oh my god. I love the pink. You're really good at these hugs. Thank you, Gerbs. Great hugs. I go into so many people's houses and they don't say, Would you like to have a seat? You don't need to. I'm a human. I know that I'm gonna have a seat. Typically, I'll walk into a house and go, all right, so where are we sitting? Where are we gonna sit? Where are we gonna sit down, right? And that's how it should be. The dog is just gonna go, where, where am I supposed to sit? Where, where am I supposed to, I don't know where to go. And that's where we see crazy dog behavior, is if we don't know what we're supposed to do with ourselves, we get crazy. Now the dog goes, I know what to do. What are you doing? You're standing up here doing circles, doing imitations of me. There's your belly rubbing. So when you take it away, the dog's going to want to jump off, which is the main problem that you're having with the place, is the dog will get off once you put it on, because it wants to stick to you like a magnet. It's like, I need to stick to my dad, he's going to give me the affection. So the more you can do this, the better. And now we've officially gotten rid of the playpen. We've opened up the house. This is starting to look like an actual dog owner house. You got a crate, got a place, you got a leash, no dog on your lap. Now you just got to get some food. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next one. Come on. Morning. Oh my gosh. How's it going? Come on, Vicky. Come on. Good. And she knows them, so she would typically want to run over and go say hello. But just like that, work her through. Come on. Good job. Come on, Binky. So it doesn't matter if there's construction, if there's other people. It doesn't matter what it is. Dogs should be focused on you. Come on, Binky. We would not have been able to do this the first day. Your dog was so afraid of everything. Pulling, I mean, your dog was at the end of a 15 foot leash pulling me because it was that afraid. Binky was a very scared puppy. It was in, extremely hard to walk the dog, just scared of the world. But now that we've opened up some communication and helped Binky see that the world is not scary. Binky, come on. Even that, I just pressed the button once I'm at an eight, and the dog goes, all right, I'm coming, I got it. I just thought maybe we could sneak on this way. Is this scary? I know I brought a distraction. I brought a distraction. Look at you, Eugene. I know, go on. Oh, and look who came out. I didn't know you were going to be here. Hello. You can join Bubba. Ooh. Yeah, you got a nice little chewy. Good job. The whole world is so big. 
you trying to fit your whole mouth. Not afraid, I love it. So ultimately it's important to switch up the walk every single day or at least a few times a week so that way the dog doesn't get used to the same routine and the dog gets to experience new distractions. The more real life experiences that you can expose your dog to, the better. Plain and simple, take your dog out of the house. Just like that, the dog can climb up it. It's a little bit easier than the uh, bench where it's like just a hop and a jump. see the dog protest with some vocalization. Eugene is working through it. You can do it, buddy. You're gonna detox through that. I know. They're right there. We're talking maybe 10 feet. You're here, they're there. I'm gonna walk away from you. Hey, buddy. You certainly are doing good. Finally, calm down. Isn't that crazy? So all that protesting, once we finally work the dog through it, he goes, I'll just stay here, I guess, I'm good. It's like he's taking that deep breath. All right, so I just finished up with Eugene. We worked on some separation anxiety issues today. We worked on some off-leash healing, some placing. 
and uh, ultimately we just switched up the walk a little bit so that way we could see how the dog reacts to new situations, new environments, and new experiences. I am headed out of Long Beach now, back down south to do some training. Let's see what's next on the agenda. Now I'm stuck in traffic. Hey guys. Oh, oh, oh I know. How are you doing?